So if you're thinking of quitting social media or it has become a problem for you or you're in the process of quitting social media, you've come to the right video because I did quit. I quit social media for a period. I wanted to talk about how I did it, why I did it, what I learned in that process, how I'm managing social media right now such that it's not a problem to me as it is for most people. In case you're seeing my content on my face for the very first time, hello, hi, my name is Sky, welcome to my channel. Over here, I talk all things productivity, I'm a minimalist lifestyle, everything is easy and chill out here. So if you like the vibe, please watch my other videos and of course subscribe in case you haven't already. In previous videos, I've kind of touched on how much I love social media and how much I use social media platforms, especially Twitter. I love Twitter. I'm on there practically all the time. I love to read people's tweets. It's a great source of information, socializing. People meet people there. You can make friends. You can see people's um, thoughts and evolution. And it's a very, very powerful um, tool for social change because lots of conversations happen on there. And it's a very important social media platform, in my opinion. One of the most important, if not the most important, after YouTube, of course. <laughs> so it's a very important platform for many people and myself it's somewhere i love to be on and i've been using twitter now for a few years and i love it i love it on there right it's a very difficult platform to be on and grow in but i just love it i love it i love using it i love tweeting and more importantly reading other people's tweets but as much as it's a great platform it can get overwhelming if you're a twitter user i'm sure you know what i'm talking about twitter is a place where you get a millions and millions of data and micro data put in your brain and your eyes like if you're on there just a simple scroll through your timeline you see so many information and it's not so visual like instagram where you're looking at pretty pictures and colors that place you're looking at people's um, thoughts people's raw thoughts both bad and good and it's mostly bad unfortunately you know people kind of hide behind their cell phones and say the most heinous things People hide behind um, the covering of social media and they can, you know, leave horrible, horrible comments. And, you know, when it comes to news, the world right now, a lot is happening. Twitter is a place where you get on the go, you know, instant information. You are more current than most other people on other platforms. You know, you can hear what's happening as it happens. Everything is super, super fast on there. So every minute, every second you spend on Twitter, you are being exposed to millions and millions of, you know, information all the time. And it just gets overwhelming sometimes. You know, for me, it just got overwhelming. Like I came to a point where I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with like the barrage of bad news. Like a whole lot happens all over the world. And on Twitter, I was getting every single information. Every war, everyone who's missing. And you know, I'm Nigerian. I live in West Africa, I'm Nigerian. So there's a lot of bad news happening. Whatever's happening with the government, you hear it on there. Whatever's happening with the police, whatever is happening with, it's such a huge, huge important platform and you know you get all the bad news as it happens and you can't even escape so it got pretty overwhelming for me and it became a point of stress in my life and one thing about minimalist living or one thing about being a minimalist or living like a minimalist is that you try to um make sense and make value and create value for yourself in all areas social media is a huge part of our lives part of my life so i wanted a place or i want my social media usage to be such that i enjoy it that brings value to me that brings peace to me that brings me enjoyment i want to enjoy and have pleasure and not so much um be overburdened by negativity so twitter became a place where i got overburdened by negativity and the bad news it was just a lot i just had to leave but you know i find myself struggling <laughs> i'll go away for a few days or maybe one or two days and i can't help it i'll just come back you know i always find myself going up and coming back going away logging and logging in and i knew that i had to do something more drastic i had to quit i knew i had to quit to reduce and manage my stress levels i knew i had to quit to reduce my exposure to bad news and negativity because it get it does get too much and it got too much and it is too much so i had to um quit to reduce my exposure to negativity and bad news and bad thoughts and you know the most horrible comments and lastly one thing about me is that i don't like the thoughts of anything having control over me i don't know if it's my ego or my pride or something but 
the very idea that I can't quit something or someone or a situation doesn't sit well with me. So I want to be able to have that control over my life, over what I do, over where I, you know, put myself. I just have that thing about control, about self-control, you know, such that I try to test my control with things. If there's anything that I like or uh, can't seem to do without, once in a while I want to test myself to be sure that, you know, I'm able to still maintain control over that area of my life. It's important to me personally, uh, maybe not for someone else, but for me, that control or that self-control is very important. So those are the reasons why I decided to quit Twitter and I decided to quit it for a period of time. I wasn't sure for how long, but I knew I had to quit, so I decided to quit. The first thing I did after deciding was to begin to curate my following or my followers. The people that I was following um, were not too much. I don't follow lots of people on social media. That's always for me to control um you know my usage so i don't follow tons of people so i kind of even further reduced the number of people i was following i brought it down to a few hundreds and you know i went through all my followings like anybody that i found that their content or their opinions were kind of problematic for me i just unfollowed and i blocked so many people like i literally would just see any random tweet from anybody whether i follow you or not if i see a tweet that doesn't um, resonate with me or doesn't sit well with me i just block so i even block people preemptively like i don't even want to come across your content for whatever reason so i unfollowed i blocked i muted as many keywords as you know i found disturbing i removed so many people from my following i blocked so many people like a lot thousands of people like i blocked so many people and i followed quite a bunch of people that i was following already so i did that curation and that calling before i finally you know kind of went off and then i logged out of my account if you're trying to quit any social media platform you have to log out from your account because it's not enough to just say okay i won't open this app for a few days or weeks or whatever i had to log out okay i just had to log out and know that okay i'm not online on there so even if i got tempted and you know went to the app i'll find that i have to do all the login all over again which is like kind of stressful so that kind of helps me like put a stop gap from going onto the platform so i had to log out and then after a while logging out wasn't enough i had to go the extreme of deleting the app from my phone so if you're trying to quit any social media platform you might have to delete the app totally from your phone or your device i had to do that i had to delete it from my phone entirely i just didn't have it on my phone anymore i know once you delete an app for you to get it back means you're going to download all over again and login back in it's a whole process which by the time i do all of this hopefully you would have kind of paused and stopped so that's what i did i went and deleted the app from my phone in total i don't have it on my laptop anyway so it was easy for me to just delete from my phone and be free of that platform and then i set a time frame that i was going to be off because i'm someone that just likes to put certain um, markers or threshold when it comes to goals or tasks so i told myself i was going to be for like a week at first now a week seems you know very short but if you're someone who is addicted to something or if you're someone who is very used to using a certain platform or you know an app sometimes a week comes can feel like a month or even longer so i knew because i hadn't been away from twitter for like a week i don't think for, for a very long time maybe even since i started using the platform so i told myself i'll be away for one week and if i felt like i could go longer i was going to go longer so you know i started my my detox and then i marked it on my on my calendar i knew okay i started from this is my day one so i did all of this um preparation and then i started the first one week wasn't so difficult like i thought it was going to be because i had gone sometimes days without using the platform i've done this detox you know here and there off and on you know in the past so i like i do it pretty often one day two day here so going one week without using twitter wasn't too difficult for me even though by day four or five or so i was a little and see to see what was going on i was feeling some sort of fomo fomo is a strong thing when it comes to quitting social media you feel like you're missing out on so many g's you feel like as you feel like you're missing out on what's happening but you know i was feeling that way you know a few days in or like around the one week mark i was feeling like oh i'm missing something you know so it was a problem for me but by the time the one week itself had wrapped up, I felt like I could go a little bit more. So I told myself, let me just continue and see how long I take this. That's how I did two weeks. That's how I did three weeks. That's how, before I knew it, it was more or less one month. And I had done the entire detox or I've stayed away or quit for one whole month. I didn't use Twitter for a whole month, which is like groundbreaking for me personally, because like I said, I'm a heavy Twitter user. So being away for a whole month, 
was easy and difficult at the same time easier than i thought it was going to be because you know i didn't know that i could do it you know not not for that long anyway and difficult for the sense that you know fomo is a thing i did feel fomo at different points i found out that i could you know just go one whole month without using this platform and nothing happened nobody died i didn't die <laughs> So here's what I learned with this very short one month quitting or one month experiment that I did staying off of Twitter. What I learned was that number one, it's not that serious. It's not that deep. There's life, there's a whole life outside of social media and you can do without it. Regardless of how important these platforms have become to us, we can totally do without them. Unless you're doing business or you know doing work on these platforms, if it's just for personal use, like how Twitter is for me for the most part, then you can totally do without them. It's not that difficult. Don't think that if you miss out on a few days or weeks of using social media, you're going to die or anything or like anything serious is going to happen. Nothing will happen. You'll be all right. There's life outside of social media. Granted, FOMO is real. I'm not going to lie. FOMO is real. But if you can fight through the FOMO, you can, you know, live your life fully without even feeling any loss from those social media platforms. One thing that Twitter does for me and for many people is like, it's a great source of news. Like I said, it's a great source of instant news. You can be current on what's happening, serious or otherwise. So um, I was worried about, okay, how I was going to get information. Like I don't have a lot of friends or whatever. So I felt like I was going to be out of the loop of what's happening in the world and our society. But I was able to get my news from um, Instagram, my family and friends and from Google. You know, Google has this feature where you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you can just see what's happening. If there's any big global news, you're going to see it on Google anyway, every day on the homepage. So I was able to get my news or my information from those places. And of course, I have family and friends who talk. So if there's anything that's important, you are definitely going to hear it. We live in a world today where information is like easy to fly by. So um, if you leave one platform, doesn't mean that you're going to, you know, become totally dark. You're most likely going to get information on what's happening. You are most likely going to hear anything that's important for you to hear anyway so i was able to get my news from other sources and didn't feel too much of a loss from not using twitter granted it wasn't so easy and it wasn't so instant but i was able to manage for the one month sometimes perspective is a thing you become very you know involved and engrossed in something so that you lose perspective so being away from twitter for a while or even any online platform will kind of give you a different perspective when you come on there you begin to see better how much um full of shit people are <laughs> people lie a lot people lie and represent themselves a lot on social media like people just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk without um there being any substance so if you stay away a bit and come back you're able to see how much bs is on there so it kind of gives you a little bit of a new perspective if you stay away for a while so that's what happened to me when i came back i was like why is why is all these people talking they're still talking about these things like it seemed like it was the same topic that i left behind that i still met the same um gender war the same bad news there's always something happening it was just more or less of the same i was like why is this so serious for us like it's not that deep like so I, it, it kind of gave me that perspective or that distance such that i could see social media or twitter for what it was and that kind of helped me gain a little bit of a healthy distance quitting twitter for the one month gave me space to sit with my thoughts and do other things on my phone i was able to um read a little bit more like literally i'll pick up my phone and i know i could use twitter and instagram you know how instagram is you can only you know scroll so much and so i had free time in quotes so i had to then do something else things like reading a book so i read like a couple of novels um like on my book on some websites so i was able to read during that period which is a good thing you know if you have um any social media that you're using all the time it might be preventing you from exploring other forms of entertainment other forms of um activities so that break gave me time to read i was able to um, sit with my thoughts a little bit more uh, make notes a little bit more and just rest really just rest from the entire thing so that was one thing that i gained during that period speaking of resting there's a whole physical aspect to this um usage of social media and which is your eyes and your brain because reading that number of tweets and information and text means that your eyes is kind of fixed on your screen for long period extended period sometimes without even blinking because if you're reading something like a text like you can't really scroll so passively you have to like focus and read for a few seconds per time and that 
long time kind of causes strain eye strain so i was feeling like i was kind of strained i was having tons of headache for some reason but giving myself that break give my eyes time to rest give my brain time to rest so i was able to give myself that physical break and physical rest so taking that break is good or it was good for me as i said one of my whys or one of my biggest whys for doing this small experiment and quitting is to test my self-control when it comes to twitter and social media in general so doing this experiment taught me that i do have self control and that kind of makes me very happy i was happy that i was able to stay away from this platform that has become so important to me i was able to stay away for a whole month that gave me more confidence i just felt like okay if i can do this i can do anything i can stay away from anything i can quit anything any situation any person in any of the platforms instagram twitter it just kind of makes me um feel like you know i am kind of above addiction in a way i know this is not like a uh, i mean this is not like the whole picture i know like addiction to anything is a very complex um factor and i know that this is not just so straightforward but doing this little test kind of gave me that confidence that okay i can quit this for actually a month maybe i can even do more maybe i can do less whenever i need to quit i can quit i can quit anything so that taught me that i can actually quit anything so it's a very good exercise in self-control for me and i feel like if you do this exercise also to kind of tell you um if you need to worry about self-control if you need to kind of check if you are healthy in that in that regard i don't know if this makes sense but yeah that's like one huge learning for me for this entire process i would say that's a very great test to do for yourself if you feel like anything is um too much to you or has become like a god to you or like you can't do without anything be it social media platform be it food be it lifestyle be it a product be it a person be it a situation whatever it is that you feel like um you're like you know encumbered by or you feel like you are stuck you can't get free maybe test quitting for a while and see how you feel see if you can go at it if i had done this test and i found that i couldn't um go on week then i'll know that yes i have a problem i'll then be aware of this problem and maybe find a solution to it but if we don't test ourselves there's a risk of just going and going and going and going and not knowing it before it's before you know it is too late and you are stuck and you can't even leave so you know this is a good test for anybody to try out in case you're thinking of trying it out um, i hope that these tips or my experience helps you through your process um, let me know in the comments if you have anything to share any questions um if you have if you've done any form of um, detox or quitting of anything really let me know in the comments i'll be happy to hear from you on there give this video a thumbs up if it did help you in any way if you enjoyed watching this give it a thumbs up please it helps my content it helps my channel and it helps the video it tells the algorithm that you guys enjoy my content so give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and of course subscribe in case you haven't already thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next video in the meantime take care